What is up, Pokemon people? This is Michael Sean from Unison Games Cafe coming at you with a uh, Pokemon TCG online uh, opening. Haven't done one of these in a while, but I haven't opened my Brilliant Star stuff on here. I'm a super busy guy now. You may, If you follow us on socials, you'll see there's a lot going on at the store now. We're running tournaments every single day, Bloop. and we're also uh, just doing all kinds of other stuff, doing the coffee thing, and... Um, yeah, we're just having a great time, and so I've been super busy, so apologies for not as much Pokemon content as lately, but we're going to start rectifying that with our Brilliant Stars opening. I got 80 packs to open, and I also have some building battle boxes, so let's start there. Um, I got Lucario this time. Pretty sweet looking promo, and not too bad of a card. Has a Roaring Resolve, just like the old Charizard from Team Up had, except Bloop. this one's on a stage one, so it's a lot easier to get out and... Uh, fighting is okay. All right, Lipard, here we go. Uh, you got Trade, and um, yeah, pretty good. Just classic Trade. And one more. Maybe we get Bibberl? No, we get another Lipard. And like, like Lipard's a great, it's, it's a cool card. Um, I think Bibberl is probably the best, maybe, of the three of them, just because it seems like people want to play that the most. But, I mean, who knows? Also, quick note before we get into this, this might be our last Pokemon trading card game online opening. Who knows? The Pokemon company is really dragging their feet, getting the TCG Live uh, app out, but it is beta testing right now. You may have seen some other content creators be do doing um, uh, tests on that and stuff. I haven't done that yet, but make sure you set up your migration. Um, maybe I'll link that article in the description. There's certain things that you can carry over into the new game so make sure you have that set up that's one of the reasons why i wanted to do this video because i want to use these i don't want to keep these brilliant stars packs i want to actually open them and, so that i can keep the card because you can get up to four copies of each card so let's go 80 packs brilliant stars what are you looking for from brilliant stars well obviously we're looking for the arceus yeah i mean arceus vmax is probably one of the best i do want to get my place out of magma basins and things like that as well um, as you can see, I guess I've done some opening. Let's do it. Keep it moving. Got another Lucario there. Kind of interesting. Double Turbo Energy. Another great card. Ooh, that's a nice Oranguru. I like that. Beautiful card. Uh, double Turbo Energy is very important to a lot of decks, including Arceus VMAX, but others as well. Okay, there's another Magma Basin. More Pico V. Not a particularly good V more just like an interesting thing because it can evolve into the VMAX it's lightning type alright Lapras I like the art on that card there's actually a lot of good art in this set maybe I'll point some out to you guys alright not a particularly good tra trainer over there we get the Magmordar and Electivire thing that you is something that's really common alright Kindler that's good We it, that told me it was a new card we need four of those so That'd be good. Luxray, cool. Reprint of Fresh Water set there. Uh, you get some of you guys might remember that card from I think it was one of the XY sets that had that. Okay, Golurk and another uh, Magmortar. All right, not a card that we really need, but it does exist. Okay, this is one of my favorite arts in the set. I love this art. It's so cool. All right, and Barry. <laughs> okay, neat. Cool looking card. Don't really need it. Alright, Infernape was all over the Build and Battle kits. If you guys went to a IRL Build and Battle event, which you totally should, um, there was lots of Infernape at ours. Alright. Haven't really seen anything super relevant on the high... Oh, there we go. Manaphy is really good. Everybody needs one to two Manaphys. Hopefully I have the Microsoft playset now. I don't remember if I have a, a non, like a regular one now. But I would definitely want to play, if I was playing two, which I, I don't, I think most decks are just going to play one, if they're going to play it at all, because they may not even be worried about that. Um, but certainly your like, uh, non, non V decks are going to need Manaphy for sure, because they'll just get demolished by you know, different different decks I can hit the bench. Oh, there's Bibberl. Very nice. Once during your turn, you may draw a card until you have five cards in hand. Pretty nuts. It's really good. Um, and, you know, 
Pokemon Company loves their Bidoof, so makes sense. Drampa V, not relevant. Drampa is never relevant. What is with that? I was just talking to somebody about this at the store. We really need to have like a another one. Oh my gosh. We need to have like a really busted Drampa card. Because nobody likes the Pokemon. And then at the same time, it's always really bad. And it's like, give him some reason to be cool. Like we just got Luminion as like a random. Because like that's kind of a random Pokemon. Oh, look that. Executor and Executor. Oh, the gloves. They got to stop with the gloves. They need to, like, no. It's just, they're just all bad. I guess maybe if they printed a Pokemon that cares about having gloves on it or something. I don't know. They're just really not good cards. Okay. Another Reverse Manaphy. And a Lucario. Well, today they definitely want us to build this Lucario deck. Okay, Ariados, cool looking card. I like it. It's one. Of, it's a kind of a random one to, to pick there. Okay, double Lapras. Let's go. We got a lot of packs to get through, so I'm trying to keep it as fast as we can. Mewtwo, another really cool art in this set. Really good looking art on that Mewtwo. Sorry for the noise in the background. All right. Flygon. Solid. Would love to get some, like, actually relevant Vs. That'd be good. Whimsicott. So apparently Whimsicott is is sort of a thing right now. Um, I'd have to... I'd, I honestly haven't spent a lot of time with the deck. Um, but apparently it's kind of doing things. All right, Roseanne's backup. That's a good trainer to get. And a reverse boss orders. Those are always nice. All right. If you are a Unison Gamer and you are on our Discord and you need some staples to carry over with the migration... Stuff like Boss's Orders, Professor's Research, maybe some staple Pokemon, like non-V stuff. Let me know, because I will happily just give those to you. Because um, I probably have like 30 Boss's Orders. Uh, so if you're newer to the game and you didn't get those as Professor's Researches, nice. The Michael Sean playset, even. Um, yeah, if you're newer to the game and you haven't gotten those staple cards yet and you need to complete your play sets or whatever let me know oh adorable and entei so all the legendary dogs are the literally the exact same card they're just different types and i think that's super cool i like that although entei is 230 isn't suicune 220 i'm gonna have to look at that hold on a second let's see i did play a lot of suicune in my ice rider deck bloop suicune's 210 interesting 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 I uh, don't know why they did that. I didn't even realize that until now. That seems, uh, in, yeah, I don't know. Do they think that, like, fire just needed more? I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'll have to sit on that for a while, marinate on that. If you got theories on why they made them different HPs, put them in the uh, comment section because I'm interested to... As to why they did that. Because they're, they're the exact same card other than that. Which I think is cool. I wish they would do that more. Because um, I think it's neat to just... You know, have... have uh, Some Pokemon that are similar but have different typings. So you can kind of flesh out some of the other different types and stuff. Which is good. Um, so yeah. I think that's cool. Alright. Blunder Policy actually seems like a pretty fun card. Maybe makes, like, flipping decks more... More better. <laughs> more viable. Oh, accidentally clicked on Life Card there. Yeah, so when you use an attack, if you flip any coins for the damage, if any of them are Tails, draw three. Some of them, you still get to attack. It's not like every attack is like, if you flip Tails, this does nothing. Um, so it might make, like, flip three coins, do 60 for each heads. Like, if you do 120 plus draw three cards, that's not that bad. Kindler. All right. Boss's orders. Again. 
just to reiterate, if you need stable cards, you're in our Discord, hit me up. I will help you out with that. Grand Bull, this card's terrible. I have no nice things to say about Grand Bull. Okay, there's the regular Art of Barry. Bibberl, there we go. We do need a place out of that card. I think I probably have it, though. Probably already have it, so I don't think I need those. Hey, that's cool. Single Strike Urshifu. That's a relevant V Max. And this card's beautiful. I just sold one of these cards at the store. Guess how much that's going for right now? A whopping $4. That is disgustingly terrible. Just saying, V Maxes do not need to be $4. That's so bad. We need to fix the secondary market. There you go. Got an Ultra Ball there. Do need a place out of Ultra Ball. Already have a place out of Ultra Ball, though, because I've been playing for long enough to have opened the other sets that Ultra Ball was in. Um, but it is a really important card. That's another great card. If you guys need Ultra Balls, like, hit me up on Discord. There we go. Charizard V Max. Or V Star, sorry. Charizard V Star. Pretty interesting. Uh, have I been saying V Maxes this whole video? I totally might have been saying V Maxes. I apologize. V Stars. Um, card's not terrible. Uh, I don't think it's particularly good either. But it's a Charizard, so that's neat. Maybe I can trade that for packs. We'll find out. Some uh, some noob wants Charizard V Star in their deck, I'm sure. Hey, yeah. I wonder how many packs that's going for. Maybe we'll check that at the end of the video. Roseanne's backup. We do need that card. It's kind of insane. It just does like all the things that you want. It is a supporter, and generally when we play stuff that recovers things from the discard pile, with the rare exception, uh, we want we want that on an item card. But I could see a lot of decks running just one Roseanne's backup. Simi Seer. This isn't that bad of a of a Pokemon, actually. I think right now the Victini V from Sword and Shield is better than this. Um but uh, this one will probably replace it when Victini rotates. Okay. Who's uh who's using Marnie's Pride is a decent card. Clink Clang, I love Clink Clang. It's the only like object based Pokemon that I actually like. Most of the time I don't as much like the object based Pokemon. Like uh Another Drampo, oh my gosh. Um uh, yeah, so like the like the swords, um, like Hone Edge and uh, Aegis Slash eventually. Uh, you know, generally I think those Pokemon are kind of dumb, but I really like Clink Clang for some reason. Can't explain it. Maybe it's just that they're adorable. Look how cute that is. Yeah, Magneton, not generally a fan of that kind of stuff. Everybody's different though. Some people really like that kind of stuff. Purloin, adorable. Yes, yeah, seriously, this Lucario deck is going to have to come together because I'm just getting all the cards for it. There we go. That's a very relevant card, and that card's really pretty. Wow. So this is just Tapu Lele, but it's a V, um, and it has a return attack. 120, put this all back, is actually not that bad um, for 3 energy. That 3 energy is a lot, but if you're playing Water, you have Acceleration. But really, it's just for the ability... Um, you go and you, you, when you bench it, you get a supporter out of your deck. Pretty neat. Uh, if you've been playing for long enough to remember Tapu Lele, or if you've been playing long enough to remember Jirachi EX, you know that that can get super busted. Speaking of busted, this is the best card in the game right now. Arcus V Star. Trinity Nova, 200. Search your deck for three basic energies attached to any Pokemon V. Reminiscent of any other giantly powerful Pokemon that you know. Um, ADP did, did a similar thing. I like that this is restricted to Pokemon V, though. Uh, however, most people are just playing Pokemon V anyway. But then the, the V-Star power is just go get any two cards, which is just so good. 200 is fine. Even if you have Turbo, that's still 180, which is also fine. Um, yeah, really good. Really, really good card. Everybody needs a place out of it eventually. I know it's really expensive. Um, it should be expensive because it's the best card in the set. But, uh... Yeah, cool. I like it when, um, so, you know, I own a store. I sell all the games. I play most of the games uh, myself to varying degrees of competitiveness. I play probably three-ish games competitively, um, including Pokemon. Uh, but, oh, Shaman V-Star. 
This card's okay. Revenge Blast is fine. And you get to heal. Healing is not that good right now, though. Uh, for, for grass Pokemon, specifically. It's, it, Cheryl's fine, but... Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I, I, I hear a lot of Pokemon players being like, wow, this card's way too expensive. Arceus V-Star is, like, 30-something dollars. Um, we have, as Pokemon players, and I am still primarily a Pokemon player, as Pokemon players, we have it so easy as far as, like, what our staple cards cost. Like, the only format that's cheaper to play is certain decks and standard magic because nobody likes standard magic uh, except for me and <laughs> some of my customers. Uh, but yeah, most people have sort of left standard and they've gone to other formats um, as far as like the secondary market purchasing. The people that have purchasing power tend to be tend to be after other cards, not standard cards. And so, but uh, literally other than that, and that's only certain decks, um, it's probably a solid 50-50. Poke, uh, in general, Pokemon is the cheapest game to play. So, so I'm down. I'm down for it. That's not so bad for the best card in the whole game to be like $30 is is pretty good. I'm okay with it. Sock. There we go. Kingler VMAX. Not particularly good, but it looks pretty hilarious to see Kingler with a giant beard. Okay. Drudagon. That's another Pokemon that just needs, like, a good card, because I feel like it always... It's always bad. There's Charizard V. You can go there. Charizard V-Star. I almost want to keep the... I don't know if I want to trade the Charizards or not. I almost want to keep them, because they are so close to being playable. Maybe if we get just a little bit more Fire Sport. By the way, we only have five packs left after this one. We, like, burned through this thing. Ace Roller's Premonition. Hey, there we go. Rainbow Kindler. I'm down for that. I did. I do need a play set of that. I think I've only seen three, though. I could be. Oh, there's four. Boom. We got the play set. Love it. Another Shaman V Star. Let's take a closer look at this. Revenge Blast. For each price, this could get pretty degenerate. Uh, during your turn, you may heal 120 from each of your benched Grass Pokemon. I really do think now Leafeon Leafeon V Star's ability is a billion times better than this. So if you're in Grass, maybe play Leafeon. But Revenge Blast is pretty good. Um, it's not a bad card at all. I played uh, a lot of double, which had a similar double V, uh, in my fire decks, my welder decks. Now, we didn't really get to play that format very much, but so I don't think it got fleshed out very well, but I was a fan of it. Having just like a giant attacker at the end of the game is it. Sometimes that's what you need to close the game. Torterra is super good in GLC. If you want to play GLC, Torterra is where it's at. All right, this is our last pack. Let's go for some of that magic. Not magic. Whoa, Luxray. I do love Luxray, but this card is pretty terrible. That's it. That's it. Let's just, real quick, see what the going rate is on Charizard V-Star here. I'm just going to go Charizard V. Uh, acceptable trade. Let's turn that off. V Is V-Star all one word on this? It's always different. Yeah, we got it. Whoa, I could give four packs for it. Gengar V Max, that's cool. It's worth four packs? That's crazy. Let's see what Arceus V Star is. Arceus V Star, 38 packs. <laughs> is this the rainbow one? Yeah. 38 packs. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that seems right. Okay. That might be a little bit too much. But I have heard that trading prices have been kind of insane. I haven't been spending a ton of time trading. Um, dope. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm pretty excited, particularly about this Arceus V-Star, because that's you know one less I'm going to have to get. I, I have heard that in the new client, all the V-Stars will cost the same amount of like in-game currency. I love that. That's super cool. There should really be, as much as I don't mind prices that are I, once again it's not really that high but like high um for like irl cards you know uh to have an online like it's just a piece of code like there's no value really to having arceus v star that might be something that's controversial to say i don't know but to play the game online i really like don't feel like i also don't want to see like big tournaments being run online so 
Um, I know they're doing the team challenge right now. I'm running the team challenge, by the way, if you want to play in our team challenge, do so. Um, we were two down, two to go. And one of them is this Sunday as I'm recording this video. I, you know, I'm not a giant fan of that because I don't think that the online client should be something that's for competitive. I, I really want the online client to be something that is either a, something that allows people to test uh, with their testing group or B just allows people to get in and, and have fun in like the starter leagues and stuff like that, um, that not aren't necessarily looking for competitive play. Uh, so I don't like it when there's stuff, there's gatekeeping on the online clients. So to have to spend 38 packs, that's more than a booster box worth of packs. Like that's pretty dumb in my opinion. So I like that it's going to be moving to like a flat rate. Um, I think that's much better for the game. Anyway, those are just my opinions. Little soapbox moment at the end there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any comments, uh, leave them down below. I would love to hear uh, your thoughts on the next client. Is this actually going to be my last video? Like, are, are, like before Astral Radiance comes out, are we going to have this client or not? What do you guys think? Go ahead and let me know. I hope that we do because it's been a long time coming. It was supposed to come out like two sets ago. So I think Fusion Strike, yeah, it was supposed to come out with Fusion Strike, and we're talking about Astral Radiance right now, which is two sets after that. So anyway, hopefully it comes out soon. I'd love to get some games in with some of you, and like I said, if you're in our Discord and you need some of those staple cards, uh, let me know because I could get them to you, and uh, I would love to get you guys into the game. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and check our channel for more cool videos. Of course, if you're local to CT or the surrounding areas, come on down to Unison Games Cafe. We'd love to play some games with you and serve you some coffee. See you then.